What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. It is an exciting time, an exciting day for those of you who are Tesla fans who ordered the Cybertruck or plan to order the Cybertruck. It is now available. They're now doing deliveries for these. People are getting their hands on them, reviewers. Everybody's talking about it right now. And the last time we talked about the Cybertruck, it was a while ago. Obviously this thing has been delayed for about four years. And I just wanna give you guys the updated real world specs, my first impressions. Uh, again, some reviews have got their hands on it so you can actually see what the car looks like. The first thing that we are going to do is go to the Tesla website. So as you can see, you can now go to the Cybertruck tab. Now you can order these. There's versions of this car that is $100,000, $80,000, and about 60 something thousand dollars, depending on certain packages that you get. So we are gonna just look at some of the simple stuff. So we're on the, the Tesla website, 11,000 pounds of towing capacity. Now that's, I'm not a truck guy, but from what I know, that's pretty heavy duty, pretty super duty, okay? Uh, 340 miles estimated range. You can also get a battery pack, basically extends your range for about 110 uh, miles. So you will get about 440 or 450 uh, miles in estimated range. Is it going to kind of deplete your battery a little bit more because it's a little bit heavier? Yes, but you do have that option to extend your range by adding that. And I believe that's about a 15 or $16,000 upgrade option. And then the most important, one of the most important I think uh, is the zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds. That is insane for a pickup truck. That is, I believe the official uh, fastest commercial pickup truck or production pickup truck that you can get like 2.6 seconds in a pickup that's faster than my tesla that's, that's freaking insane let's see what else features it has no paint no chips it is stainless steel so there's no paint job on it it's just re refined stainless steel so you don't have to worry about your your paint chipping because there's there's no paint that's pretty freaking awesome shatter resistant all right everybody knows Tesla had the infamous moment on stage when they were showing off the Cybertruck and they threw a ball or something at the window and it shattered, even though they were claiming it was shatter resistant. So since then they have refined that window or the windows on the truck itself. So it should actually be shatter resistant now. And I'm pretty sure they tested this back to back to back to back. Cause that was kind of embarrassing for Tesla. You gotta admit it. it you, you can plug in regular outlets to the back trunk portion of the car you can even plug in like the washer and dryer type of outlets in the back of this truck which offers an amazing advantage and it's a super awesome feature tailgate or the uh cover over the tailgate it's automatic with the push of a button you press that button it'll pull all the way up and go all the way down if you hold that button it'll stop wherever you want to stop and come out wherever you want to come out that's pretty cool it's it's cameras everywhere you can remove your side mirrors uh, the, the rear view mirror, there's cameras for that as well. I'm not just gonna talk about this. I'm gonna show you guys this. Tesla has been releasing tons of videos on the Cybertruck. So we're gonna check out a couple of these trailers. Ooh, it's a movie, baby. It's a movie. Clean. I think it has like minimal to no curves on this truck at all. You got the cinematic dramatic music. Come on, give it to me. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this thing. It looks like a Mars rover. I think that's what he was kind of going for. Look at this thing. That, like, imagine having one of those on the road. So unique. You'd be the only one. I guarantee it. All terrain. It has all terrain wheels on it. The wheels do have a aero cap cover, so you can remove that and reveal the uh, the wheel under it. The front trunk is kind of narrow, but you still have that space. And also, you like any other Tesla, you have that additional storage space underneath in the back of the trunk. This is crazy. The fact that you can remove your side mirrors if you don't want to use them, because you have cameras on both uh steer wells on both sides so you can just use that as your side mirror so once you get this car if you want to remove your cameras or your 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 side mirrors you can do that 
super long front windshield probably the longest uh production windshield on any vehicle it's massive it has to cover that huge radius that the windshield is Cybertruck. Okay. Uh, apparently Tesla is claiming that this thing is bulletproof. That's what they're claiming. And look, they even put a bullet test video on here. Check this out. They're using freaking Call of Duty World War II weapons. Erosion resistant. That's pretty good. Yeah, I used that in World War II and Call of Duty. That Tommy. Best gun in the game. Ooh! This thing is actually bulletproof. At least the frame of it. The main frame. That's crazy, dude. That's definitely a tester vehicle because that would be a waste of money if you're just oh we got this truck let's shoot it up that's kind of a waste nine millimeter it absorbed it nine millimeter 115 grain in the block looking pretty good his shot spread is a little wide he needs to get it a little tighter Uh oh, he's using a, like an MP something, MP5 or something. All right, so this was an MP5. <laughs> Look, I know my guns, man. Call of Duty, you've been looking out for me. Going a bit faster. We've got only a four inch barrel, but an eight inch suppressor on that. So you can kind of see, obviously, a bit more tighter grouping, but uh, yeah. No Yo, this car is legit bulletproof. This is wild. Is this a shotgun? Oh, yeah, it is a shotgun. Buckshot. Oh my god. Five rounds. Held up pretty well. We had one where we got two of the bug shots hit. Oh lord. Getting eaten up. Oh, that thing went right through. So don't believe the movies. When you shoot a normal truck, the bullets go in one side, straight through, and out the other side. So you you can officially say that this truck is bulletproof. Like how awesome would that be? To basically invest in a car that can potentially save your life, not only with how it's built and in a certain situation where you get in a car crash, but like, God forbid, you get into some kind of situation where someone shoots at the car or ricochets or something, you're protected. That's pretty awesome. Now, there's one more video I wanted to see. All right, so I found the video. Uh, this is a, a Cybertruck drag racing a Porsche 911 with a twist. Look at this, zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds, beating out the Porsche. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. It's pulling an, uh, another car and it still beat it. That's insane. So I would say it's safe to say this car is a huge, huge advantage when talking about all the features it offers, purchasing a truck, a pickup truck, the power it offers and it, it's on the tesla supercharger network so you, your investment is going to be in good hands and the only drawback is at least in my opinion is the design i don't think they'll sell as many of this because most people might not be a fan of the design and you know fair enough it's not going to be for everyone it's going to be for those you know people who want something a little bit different when it comes to a pickup truck you gotta have to want a pickup truck in the first place you also have to be a fan of tesla and electric vehicles and just wanting something new that's gonna be who it kind of is marketed to and also you gotta have some coinage to get this car because it's not cheap again like i said there's a couple different tiers you have a three motor one a front and rear motor one and then just a rear motor uh version of the car so you're gonna have, you know, certain price points is gonna offer certain features. So it's all depending on what you guys prefer. But uh, outside of the look of it 
this thing is freaking amazing and the fact that i'm going to be seeing this big freaking silver metallic thing driving down the street i know i'm going to see it sooner or later i don't know i'm excited i want to get my hands on one of these hopefully there's a tesla center near me so i might go in there if they have one on display and i might do a test drive if they bring one in and i'll definitely record that for you guys to see but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments below is this something you're interested in and you think it's too overhyped do you think it's ugly do you think it's just the best thing smoking right now let me know thanks for tuning in as always subscribe if you're new hit that like button if you're new or returning and i'll see you guys in the next one peace